Delphi School District Educators of the Year Recognition Ceremony. I am Deidre Powell, Chief's Communications Officer, and it is my honor to be your Master of Ceremony this evening. Please stand for the processional of our honorees. Cadets, forward, march. Cadets, post. Arch, swords. Come on in. Cadets, carry, swords, post. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the presentation of the colors and the national anthem. Cadets, present, swords. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets back the bombs bursting in air gave proof the night that our flag was 
are still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Cadets, order swords. Carry swords. About face. Forward march. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for that beautiful presentation of the colors as well as our national anthem. And also a special thanks to the Santa Ana High School Jazz Band that performed those selections and the nutritious services team that provided the delicious um, bites. Let's give them a hand for our reception. Wasn't that beautiful? And to our whole school, Santa Ana High School, under the leadership of Mr. Jeff Bishop and his team, thank you so much for your wonderful hospitality. Tonight is a very special night as we honor our Educators of the Year for their dedication and service to our students, our parents, our fellow colleagues, and to all that comprise the Santa Ana Unified School District. Teachers are the foundation and fabric of our educational system. We cannot educate students without them. In fact, none of us would be where we are today without all the teachers who poured into our lives. So tonight, we salute all of our educators and honorees who represent the excellence that is provided to our students each and every day and to thank them for their dedication, commitment, and passion to do the noble work that they do. Let's give them a round of applause. As we begin our celebration in their honor tonight, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge some very special guests, beginning with members of the Santa Ana Unified School District Board of Education. Please stand as I call your name. Board President, Mr. John Palacio. <laughs> Vice Board President, Ms. Valerie Amesqua. <laughs> Board Clerk, Ms. Cecilia Iglesias. <laughs> Representing our district administration team, our superintendent, Dr. Stephanie Phillips. Deputy Superintendent of Educational Services, Dr. David Hagland. <laughs> Deputy Superintendent of Administrative Services, Dr. Edmund Heatley. <laughs> Associate Superintendent of Human Resources, Mr. Mark McKinney. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Business Services, Ms. Tina Douglas. Assistant Superintendent of Teaching and Learning, Dr. Alfonso Jimenez. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Facilities and Governmental Relations, Mr. Oren Williams. <laughs> and our Interim Chief of Police, Mark Van Holt. 
Also joining us on this stage is the president of the Santa Ana Educators Association, Ms. Barbara Pearson. We also have representation from some of our elected officials. Please stand as I call your name. On our front row, representing the office of Congressman Lou Correa, Claudio Gallegos, the interim district director. And representing the office of Senator Janet Wynn, Mr. Phil Smith, field representative. Without further ado, I'd like to invite members of our Board of Education to greet you, beginning with our Board Vice President, Ms. Amesqua, followed by Mr. Palacio, and then Ms. Iglesias. Thank you, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Wow, it's a quiet crowd. Good evening. Good evening. All right, we're here for, it's a special night. And thank you, Mr. Palacio, for letting, us, uh, letting me go out of order. First of all, I want to apologize. I have to leave a little early, but I wanted to be here tonight to extend my congratulations to all of you. So please indulge me. All of you that we are recognizing tonight, could you please stand? Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. I know I'm, I'm taking things a little out of order, but because I am leaving, I wanted to make sure to hear your family congratulate all of you for being recognized tonight. And I want to thank each and every one of you for all of the work that you do for our children, all of the lives that you have touched, because all of you in this room touch our children every single day. It's very personal for me to see Coach Glab sitting up here he played a very important role in my son's life, and I will never, ever forget that. And I know you've touched many lives, and thank you. And all of you have, and the teachers that are here, the principals. I walk around, and in my line of work, I can hear multiple conversations at the same time. And I heard a principal talking to a teacher that's being recognized who used to be in her class as a student. And we have many of those. And I always walk around smiling because I love to hear those conversations. That's what we are, SAUSD family, in the good times and in the bad times. So thank you for all of the work that you do. And thank you for touching all of the lives that you do. Because when you develop those positive relationships with our children, my son, Mr. Palacio's son, sons, I should say, excuse me, and some of you, your own children go to our district. We don't forget, and they remember the things that you said to them in the first grade, the fifth grade, the seventh grade, the ninth grade, and even as they're graduating, going out into the world, which is a scary place for some of our children, for some of us as well. So thank you for all the work that you do every day. You don't work from eight to five or seven to three. You work long days into the evenings, on the weekends, Long, long hours, and I know that. And I want to thank you all for the work that you do, and I'm honored to represent you and to serve you as your board member. And again, congratulations, all of you. Well deserved. Good evening. A little louder. Good evening. Good evening. You know, Teachers have always left an impression on my family. My, my oldest son, who, who is, uh, has disabilities, um, he learned a lot of things. And you learned, taught him how to read, how to write, how to swim. And these are things that he would not have learned. And these are lifelong skills. And he's doing extremely well today. My other son, uh, you know, Coach Glab, who we talked about earlier, uh, I don't think the coach knows, but my son Stephen, who, who Coach Glab uh, was uh, on the wrestling team with him, um, just graduated about six weeks ago from uh, the, Orange, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. And you know what? He graduated number one in the class. <laughs> Thank you. 
And I think like all of us, we can always think of teachers who have left an impression in our lives. I can think a lot of them over my life who I look back, as, as you get older, you begin to realize how important role that they play in your lives, and that's correct. You all play a very important role. And what a better gift when you're a teacher 10 years, 15 years, 20, 30 years later, and that child, that student that you had comes to you and says, thank you for what you've done for, my, uh, for me. I mean, that's the gift you can have. My, my brother, my sister-in-law, all teachers, and they always tell me, it's when somebody sees me out in the streets and says, thank you for what you did. And this is what really what education is about. And it's, it's, a, it's, it's a lot of work. Um, and, but I do want to thank, thank you what you've done for my family. Who, uh, thank you for what you've done to impact the lives of many, many students. Think about it. If you've been teaching 30 years, look how many students that you, you taught over the time. You know, it's, it's, it's a tremendous impact. And uh, with that, today is a very special day because this is our way of saying thank you. Oftentimes, as board members, we don't always have time to say thank you. But look at the results. We have outstanding students. Students are graduating, going to some of the best schools in the country. And they're going because we have a lot of great teachers who are committed. And you've all make, made a big difference. People going to Harvard, people going to uh, the University of Southern California, they're going to the University of Arizona, and um, all the great schools in this country has to, um, uh, that, that it gives. So I just want to thank you in the bottom of my heart because I don't always time to say thank you. And this is what we've been doing. This is what's so special as a board member. During this particular month, we're going to be recognizing, last night we recognized classified employees, today the certificate employees, shortly will be retirees, it'll be our athletes, it'll be our, our outstanding scholars, and then we'll have our graduation. And so for me as a board member, this is an accumulation of saying thank you for all the hard work that you do. And again, thank you very much, and, and I'm looking forward to um, uh, seeing you as, as we close the year and as we recognize uh, the, the labor, your hard labor and what you've been doing for our students. Thank you. Good evening. Could Mr. Palacio put you to sleep? <laughs> no, I, I just want to echo everything that Mr. Palacio and Ms. Amesqua said. I want to thank you for all that you do, for all that you do for our families in Santa Ana, for all the lives that you've touched, for the life of my son that you've touched. I know that um, out in the crowd, I think I see some MacArthur family here. And um, I know that you, you guys have been instrumental in a lot of my family's two cousins and um, and mothers and, and brother and sister, you know, I graduated from, from, from Valley. I went to uh, all, uh, all the uh, schools here in Santa Ana. So I'm very, I'm very thankful, thankful for all the, um, all the time that you guys spent with us, you know, for us to learn the English language. You know, I, I was an English language learner, but I want to thank all the, um, all the teachers and all the administrators that have played an impact in my life. And I just want to say that um, this is your day. Um, we hope that we make you guys feel very honored and proud because we are very proud to have you as our SAUSD family. And um, I'm, just, I'm just happy to be here. And, um, you know, in the morning we started a, the day with prayer with the educators, some of our teachers starting to, because today is the National Day of Prayer. So it's, it's an opportunity for us to be thankful for each other, for uh, the family that we have here. And then also, I just wanted to say that, you know, um, you got, every individual here, every teacher is in my heart. And I, I hope that you know that, that I care deeply about the staff, and I care deeply about, about your families, too. So I'm here to serve. Anything that I can do, let me know. And, um, you know, may God continue to bless you. And like they're saying on social media right now, may the fourth be with you. <laughs> Thank you, board members, for those wonderful remarks. At this time, I'd like to invite our superintendent, Dr. Stephanie Phillips, to greet you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Um, good evening. All right. So you're awake. <laughs> um, just wanted to say to you a couple of things. Santa Ana Unified School District is doing wonderful things. Great things are happening in Santa Ana, and that is in large part because of you. So give yourselves a round of applause. You know, I have the, the pleasure and the, the honor of being the superintendent of this district, and it has been my honor to go around the state and talk to legislators and policymakers outside of Santa Ana and really let them know what our story is. You know, a lot of people don't understand what happens in Santa Ana and all the hard work that is happening and all the great things and results that we're seeing from your efforts. Uh, last night, we, we honored classified employees, and they are the backbone of our, our district. You are the lifeblood of our district, and the things that you do with and for our students every day make the difference. Our graduation rates are up. Our literacy rates are up. We have new programming, and, and kids are coming back into our system because of choice, not because of where they live, but where they want to be. And that's because of the caring and the, the learning that's happening in our classrooms and all of the time that you're taking with our kids, the effort, the contribution that you're making to our kids and to our families. So what I'd like to say to you is a sheer thank you. Thank you for everything that you do and everything that you've done. So hats off to you and have a fantastic night. Okay, so now is the time that we all have been waiting for, for the presentation of our honorees. Um, I'd like to ask Mr. Cesar Vargas if he'd come to the mic. He's going to be our announcer for the evening. He's going to announce the name of each honoree. And um, I'm going to ask my members of the board and cabinet and Ms. Pearson if they would go ahead and take the stage and form a receiving line. After each name is called in elementary, you can go ahead and stand up and make your way to the side of the stage. After um, each name is called, um, each honoree will receive certificates of recognition from the Santa Ana Unified School District Board of Education, Congressman Lou Correa, Senator Janet Wynn, Assemblymember Tom Daly, and Supervisor Andrew Doe, and our six district, district educators of the year will also receive certificates from Santa Ana Mayor Miguel Polito. I introduce to you our Elementary Teachers of the Year. Katie Sue Martin Elementary. <laughs> Laura Vandemergel, Adams Elementary. Barbara Hogan, Advanced Learning Academy. Diana Ruth Cortez, Carver Elementary. Ora Mumpipak, Davis Elementary. Rosie Robles. Diamond Elementary. Sharon Henyon, Edison Elementary. Patty Dodge, Esqueda Elementary. 
Miriam Ramirez, Fremont Elementary. Tracy Ricca, Garfield Elementary. Karen Cronin, Greenfield Fundamental. Corey Gonzalez, Harvey Elementary. Maritza Ramirez, Heroes Elementary. Kathleen Houlihan, Hoover Elementary. Nancy J. Garcia, Jackson Elementary. Olivia Galvez, Jefferson Elementary. Kanyol Hang, Kennedy Elementary. Sharon Knight, Henninger Elementary. Angelica Torres Leiva, King Elementary. Ralph Prado, Lincoln Elementary. Oralia Aguilera, Lowell Elementary. Nicole Hamamura, Madison Elementary. Stephanie Tellez, Mitchell Child Development Center. Christina Soto, Monroe Elementary. Sherry Fariba Agahi, Montevista Elementary. Patsy Dyson, Muir Fundamental. Glenise Rossman, Pio Pico Elementary. Scott Clyde Baum Stieg, Romero Cruz Elementary. Danny Cortez, Roosevelt Elementary. Kim Secor, Sepulveda Elementary. Jesslyn Deputy Ortega, Taft Elementary. Catherine Staley, Thorpe Fundamental. Ilian Guzman, Walker Elementary. Amanda Canty, Washington Elementary. Crystal Juarez, Wilson Elementary. Elena Fernandez, Early Childhood Education. I'd like to invite Dr. Haglin to introduce one of our Educators of the Year. This is actually our Educator of the Year for elementary. So, Katie Sue has been Teacher of the Year, teacher for 16 years. She currently teaches at Martin Elementary School where she believes that every minute in the classroom is precious. Ms. Sue believes that technology paves the road for her students' success in the future, 
so she is constantly researching and implementing strategies to increase student learning with the support of technology. In fact, she shares an example of utilizing the game Minecraft to support her students in writing and how in just two short months her students improved up to two levels in writing. Ms. Sue has a special connection with her students. She can relate to them. She was an English learner, first gener generation immigrant, and the first in her family to attend college. While she clearly understands the challenges her students face, she shares that she pushes them to overcome their struggles through perseverance and persistence. Ms. Sue uses her own life as an example. She states, in dealing with my muscular dystrophy, I show my students that physical limitations do not dictate how life is to be lived and how dreams are achieved. Please enjoy this short video clip highlighting the moment when she learned that she had been selected as Teacher of the Year. Can we give Miss Sue a big round of applause, everybody? We have some special visitors just for her. So scholars, let me, let me introduce some people to you because we have some really exciting and fun people here today. We have Dr. Phillips, she's our superintendent over the whole district. All right, this is Miss Sue's fourth grade class. We have Dr. Jimenez, Dr. Hagland, and Dr. Hillman, who also are, are our leaders. They help make sure that we have everything ready to go in our schools. And they're here today because Miss Sue, your teacher, your very own teacher, is the Elementary District Teacher of the Year in our whole district, in all of Santa Ana. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs> Can I give you a hug? Congratulations. Very well done. You guys know that you have a super hardworking teacher. And sometimes when you do good things, you get recognition as well. This is one of those days. So. Ms. Sue, we just wanted to say thank you for all that you do and all the hard work that you have given for our students and for our school. <laughs> we know you do, and you do a fantastic job. They all appreciate it, but so do we. So thank you for everything. <laughs> I, I just do my best because I love kids and um, I think of every one of them as my own children and I want them to achieve um, their potential and I just you know plug along every single day wishing that they're better and better thank you how do you guys feel about your teacher <laughs> Anne and I love Miss Sue because she, she's hardworking on the students. She always helps people. She's a very nice teacher and she's very traditional. She's, she's exciting and she's nice. My name is Brianna and I love Miss Sue because she's super nice to all of us. My name is Severick and I like Miss Sue because she, she's, she's so nice and she lets us do hard, she lets us do homework in classroom. And when when we when we're in trouble in a GG problem, she could help us every time. My name is Perla Dionisio, and I couldn't think of anyone more deserving than being Teacher of the Year than Miss Sue. She goes extremely above and beyond for our students and also our staff. And being the technology person here at Martin, I am so blessed to have her on my side because she's able to answer all the questions I'm not. So thank you, Miss Sue, and congratulations. My life being with the kids, they keep me young and every day is a different kind of day. It's my pleasure to introduce you, Miss Katie Sue.
Now it's time for our intermediate teachers of the year. If you would make your way to the side of the stage. Patricia Wedekin, car intermediate. <laughs> Terry Huberger, Lathrop Intermediate. Norma Lomeli, McFadden Intermediate. Angela. Angela Yepes, Sierra Preparatory Academy. Caitlin Gregory, Spurgeon Intermediate. <laughs> Stephanie Thatcher, Via Fundamental Intermediate. I'd like to invite Dr. Afonso Jimenez to introduce our Intermediate Teacher of the Year. Good evening. Mrs. Compton currently teaches eighth grade science at Willard Intermediate School. She has been teaching for 12 years. Mrs. Compton's philosophy on teaching is simple. Every student, every day. She believes that biggest gains happen not in one fell swoop, but in increments. She stated that she strives to be the teacher that she would want for her own child. Someone who strives to create a classroom where students feel safe taking risks. Someone who deeply cares about all students' education. And someone who is constantly reminding students that learning is about working hard and pushing oneself to do their absolute best. Her greatest reward in teaching is the smiles on her students' faces when they get it or the handwritten notes, thanking her for making science fun and easy to understand. Finally, Mrs. Compton believes that teachers are guides that prepare students for the next step in the learning process and ultimately, life. Please enjoy this video clip highlighting when she learned that she had been selected Teacher of the Year. Ms. Compton is going to be the district teacher for the year for the intermediate school. I don't know what to say. I do this every single day for you guys. I do my best and give my best because I want you guys to have the best science experience and the best education possible because I love Santa Ana Unified and I think it's the best district well, in the nation, it's the best. <laughs> and we have the best students, and the, they're just wonderful, genuine, lovely people, and I do it every single day for them, so. Congratulations. Thank you. Hagler, this is our wow. deputy superintendent. We have Alfonso. Okay. And I'm so proud of Ms. Compton for being selected this year. She is an awesome teacher. She helps our students every day. She goes above and beyond. She's not afraid to try new things. She takes on new challenges, and she's always thinking about what's best for our kids. Everything that she does all day long is about what's best for our kids, and I'm so proud. Hi, my name is um, Angel, and I like the teacher because she do. we have a lot of fun in here, and we do fun projects. I'm Cardinal. I like being in Mrs. Compton's class because she's always peppy. You know? She's always happy. My name is Leslie and I like that Miss Compton explains everything to us and that she helps us with everything we need. My name is Jasmine Gordon and she's very passionate about teaching the kids and I see the excitement that she has in her face and I think that's why she's a great teacher. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Mrs. Laura Compton.
Introducing our high school teachers of the year. Please make your way to the side of the stage to be introduced. James Overson, Century High School. Sarah Park, Chavez High School. Christine Rich, Career Technical Education. Catherine Gall, Lauren Grisset Academy. Cassandra Silverstein, Middle College High School. Frank Hades, Reach Academy. Monica Dalton, Saddleback High School. Thomas Pfeiffer, Segestrom High School. Teresa Cavazos, Valley High School. I'd like to invite Mr. Mark McKinney to introduce our high school teacher of the year. It's my pleasure and honor to introduce to you Mr. Scott Glab. Scott is a teacher at Santa Ana High School where he has taught for over or 27 years. We've already heard tonight, also known as Coach Glab. He's a notable and award-winning wrestling coach. Mr. Glab was only 16 years old when he decided to pursue a career in teaching and coaching. He shares that since that day, he has never wavered on fulfilling his dream as an educator. Mr. Glab's impact on students extends beyond the classroom with his involvement in helping students secure jobs to attend college, sometimes across the country. There have been times when Mr. Glab has helped students find housing when they had no place to go or no family to provide. Mr. Glab states, being a teacher is my calling and I'm here to serve my students. When executed correctly, the rewards are letters and emails are, and conversations with former students who tell me, it's because of you, Glab, I thank you from them is the ultimate honor. Please enjoy this video clip highlighting when, when Coach Glab learned that he had been selected as Teacher of the Year. I want to introduce, first of all, uh, Stephanie Phillips, our, our Dr. Stephanie Phillips, our superintendent, and she's got some great news. We're here to celebrate you as Teacher of the Year and for all that you do for Santa Ana High School. So from, from the bottom of the hearts of the board and the staff in the central office, we want to say thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So what do you guys think about Coach Glab being Teacher of the Year? Shocked. Um, surprised. Uh, it, you know what? Santa Ana is the best kept secret in Orange County. I've been here 27 years and uh, I love it here and I wouldn't want to go anywhere else and uh, you guys have all been good to me and this is just, uh, uh, you know, an op opportunity to be able to, you know, uh, share with my family and leave a legacy behind for my, my team and the kids here. So I, I thank you for it. Appreciate it. This is a big deal. This is one of six Teachers and Support Staff of the Year. Coach Glab will go on to compete for the county 
Teacher of the Year. So this is a, a real big thing, and he's going to represent Orange County at the Teacher Dinner of the Year. Hi, my name is Juan Espinosa, and I, I like Glad because he's a great teacher and inspires all the students and wrestlers. Hi, my name is Michelle Hidalgo. Um, Mr. Glad is a good teacher because he's always here for us. Um, even if we don't pay attention, he still has a really like good humor all the time. He's always telling us funny stories. He's here before and after school. My pleasure to introduce to you Santa Ana High School skate, Mr. Scott Glab. Thank you so much. Let's give all of our teachers of the year a round of applause. Now we'd like to introduce you our Support Services Educators of the Year. And we lean on them. They are the hard workers at the school, and we just want to honor them as well. So if I could have my elementary Support Services Educator of the Year come on up, followed by our intermediate and our high school. Paul Tenenbaum, Adams Elementary. Anastasia Alcaraz, Carver Elementary. Sandra Yagobi, Davis Elementary. Gary Halverson, Diamond Elementary. Sharon Larson, Edison Elementary. Luis Mariano Reyes, Esqueda Elementary. Maria Roman, Fremont Elementary. Dale Rao, Greenville Fundamental. Giancarlo Peña, Harvey Elementary. Susan Skelton, Henninger Elementary. Monica Aguirre, Hoover Elementary. Janet Shermer, Kennedy Elementary. Mary Crandall, Lincoln Elementary. Maria Sanchez, Lowell Elementary. Dana Hermosillo, Madison Elementary. Kara George, Martin Elementary. Eneida Garcia, Montevista Elementary. Jessica Reyes, Muir Fundamental. Cheryl Cates, Roosevelt Elementary. Marcela Ortiz, Sepulveda Elementary. Christy Ann Acock, Taft Elementary. Tanya Guzman, Walker Elementary. Allison Amanda Regal, Washington Elementary. Bianca Alessandra Barkin, Jackson Elementary. Andres Guillen, Santiago Elementary. 
Dr. Mark Van Horn, Wilson Elementary. I'd like to invite Mr. Oren Williams to introduce our District Support Services Educator of the Year for the Elementary Division. Good evening, educators. Principal Casey Clappenbeck wrote the following about Nicole Aldrich, who is a special education teacher at Garfield Elementary School. Nicole's passion for in inclusion, success for all students, and the ability to support teachers makes her one of Garfield's most valuable players. She is committed to cultivating the school culture and climate which fosters inclusive practices, acceptance, and confidence. Nicole is most appreciated for her ability to help teachers deal with their most challenging and most at-risk students. Teachers are most grateful when Nicole helps them integrate systems that support positive student behavior. Her peers respect her, for how she is able to not only turn around student behavior, but also turn ab ab academic frustration into success. Maybe I need some help from Ms. Aldrich. <laughs> but anyway, Principal Clappenbeck closed with, I am so proud of Nicole with her well-deserved recognition. She is a blessing to Garfield community. Please enjoy this video clip heightening Mrs. Uh, Aldrich's learning as she had been uh, selected to support Services Educator of the Year. Good morning. How are we doing, Gators? Today is a really special day because your teacher is being honored. Mrs. Aldridge, do you know what she's being honored for? This is like a surprise, you're right. She's being surprised because she is the best support, she's the best support teacher in our whole entire district in Santa Ana for the year. Are you kidding me? Is that a great is that a great surprise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and these and this is our superintendent, Dr. Phillips. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you do for our school district and for our kids. Oh, yes. I love it. I love them. That's right, give her a round of applause. So, you know, the things that people say about you are far above and beyond what you ha we know what you have to do. So we really appreciate and value your contribution to the school, but to the district as well. So we're so pleased to have you uh, represent the district at the Countywide uh, Teacher of the Year because we think that you're the epitome of what great things are happening in Santa Ana. My name is Zylan, and the thing I love about my teacher, she's nice and she's respectful and honorable and the nicest teacher I ever had. Um, my name is Ariana. Um, uh, my my teacher um, is very nice. She, I like I like when she she gives us lots of things and does parties for us. I like writing with my teacher. I love what I do. I do it because I love these guys, huh? Yes. Are we a family? Yeah. 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 <laughs> We acknowledge that teaching is, is an awesome profession. We acknowledge that there are many, many good teachers in Santa Ana, mm -hmm. and we want to acknowledge that you're among the best. Oh, thank so, you so much. Good that makes you. me feel really good. <laughs> My name is Robin Seltzer. I'm the TOSA at Garfield Elementary. Um, I just love, I love Nicole. Um, she takes all the kids who people might have been given up on, and she just loves them and does incredible work with them and most importantly she loves makes them love school the kids are wonderful they're appreciative and um, they're, they inspire me every day they teach me and that's what I love about them she brings hope and she brings change to our classrooms and to students that really um, need um, support and she helps build them up and makes them successful
Is that an awesome video? So it is my pleasure to introduce to you Miss Nicole Aldrich. Now it's time for our intermediate support services educators, for the, uh, educators of the year. Please go to the side of the stage so we can introduce you. Mayra Vidrios, Car Intermediate. Heather Marie Hammer, Lathrop Intermediate. <laughs> Stacy Gregro, Mendez Fundamental. <laughs> Heather Rigby, Willard Intermediate. I'd like to invite Miss Tina, Dr. Heatley, to come at this time <laughs> and introduce our District Support Services Educator of the Year. Good evening. I am Ed Heatley, not Tina Douglas, <laughs> just for the record. So it is an honor for me to introduce Miss Julie Correll, speech and language pathologist at McFadden Intermediate School. <laughs> Principal Ignacio Munez wrote the following about Ms. Correll. Ms. Correll does an amazing job juggling the many complex parts of her job. He didn't say this, but I am. Even dealing with me. From Iggy. All right. One of the things she does better than anyone I have ever worked with she has the ability to truly assess difficult situations. Working with such a caring and competent educator as Julie is both an honor and a pleasure. She is one of the most welcoming staff members for all students, which is evident in the success, in the success of her lunchtime game room. The game room provides a safe, unstructured, natural environment for students to practice social communication skills with typical peers. I cannot think of anyone more deserving than Ms. Curl for this honor. Congratulations, and please enjoy this video clip highlighting when Ms. Correll learned that she had been selected Support Services Educator of the Year. Ago, we filled out this form about your. Well, I'll let Dr. Phillips do the honors. I just want to say I brought a whole host of people to see. We want to congratulate you on being support educator of the year. What? Yes. Are you sure? For SUNY Southern Cal State Fullerton High School. Yes. 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 Yes.
I, I love, love these kids. kids. I, I love the, the people, people I work with. with. I've, I've been, been at McFadden, McFadden since, since 1994. Since, since I started in Santa Ana, I can't imagine, imagine being anywhere else. else. And, and um, I, think I think the... I, I really, really try that that to not, not particularly grow, grow up in some respects so that I can relate to my students. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, mean, I think that's, that's the secret, secret being, being in the middle school. school. <laughs> <laughs> The, the best, best part, part about Julie is that, that door is always open. open. And, and there, there are kids, kids that aren't her kids, but she sees them all as her kids. kids. So, so every child knows there's a place for them in this room. And I don't think this room, room is big enough, enough but yet they, they all fit. fit. So, so that's, that's to, to her credit. credit. You know, you know one, one of the things I love about Julie is that she's got such a young spirit. So she opens up this room for games for all the students. So this, this is called the Game Room Lunch 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 Lunch. So Whether they're special needs students, students or kids, kids who have uh, some speech, speech issues and they've got to come in practice, she involves them and she integrates them with uh, general ed students and they, they come in here and they have a great, great, old, great old time. No money, no money gets exchanged, I don't think. That's okay, right? I think we, we cleared that up a couple weeks ago. But, but you know, you know they're, they're, they're free to come in and basically be themselves and be behind kids and bring in the lunch. They have special passes that can come in. And then she just loves the kids. Staff, staff respects her, her. Uh, we respect her a lot. Uh, she's, she's always in the spirit of whatever McFadden, you know, we call ourselves McFadden family, family and she embodies everything that, that you, know, you would expect from McFadden. And our last group of honorees for the evening are High School Support Services Educators of the Year. Rosalina Espinosa, Century High School. Dr. Julie Shaw, Godinez Fundamental. Brian Lilly, Santa Ana High School. Robbie Wayne Walsh, Valley High School. I'd like to invite Miss Tina Douglas to come at this time and introduce our High School Support Services Educator of the Year. I'm not that tall. Mr. Gannon Burks was nominated by two principals because he shares his time between two school sites. Principal Trucker Clark of Reach Academy and Patrick Cornforth of Lauren Grissett Academy. Principal Clark wrote, Mr. Gannon has worked in education for nearly 18 years. As a TOSA, he has shown that he is hands-on, sparking an interest in staff, students, and parents, as well as an educator who is from the trenches and relates with colleagues. Principal Cornforth closed with, it is with great enthusiasm that I, that I acknowledge the work of Gannon Burks at Lauren Grissett Academy. Our work together has proven to be an exemplary collaboration in which the interests of student learning and success in a 21st century world drive our objectives. His leadership and collaborative philosophy at Lauren Grissett Academy provide countless opportunities to positively impact students and colleagues at our school site. Please enjoy this video clip highlighting when Mr. Burks learned that he had been selected Support Services Educator of the Year. Burke, congratulations. 
congratulations. You are not the winner of Publishers Clearinghouse. <laughs> but you are. We are celebrating you today as the Support Services Educator of the Year. <laughs> These are for you. They're kind of tall, but. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we wanted to acknowledge all the hard work and the, the, the contribution that you make to this school each and every day. Um, your colleagues, your, your family has acknowledged you as being a critical part of what makes this school work. And so we wanted to come out, I brought a, a few of my friends, um, to come out and honor you this morning with some balloons and hopefully just some, some celebratory cheer that says we value you and thank you for all that you do. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're not nominated by one school. You are nominated by two schools as, as the Certificated Support Personnel of the Year. And so you did a double whammy. So good job. Thank, Thank you. you for providing to support a lot of our kids across the district, not just at this one school, but also at REACH. So thank you very much. You, Great sir. work. I appreciate yep. that, sir. We are so proud to have Gannon as a member of our team here. He has proven again and again and again that he can do everything that's necessary to help move our school forward in the best interest of kids. I'm super proud to have been the person that made the decision to bring him on board here, and I'm sure he's got a great future in the district. I congratulate him. It's well deserved. Thank you. Very nicely done. It's, it's very rewarding. I obviously have to thank Mr. Cornforth for hiring me two years ago and putting me in this wonderful school district and position to be able to help and serve, you know, Santa Ana. And I believe that, you know, I'm now part of the family and, you know, I am SAUSD. It is my honor to introduce my friend, Mr. Gannon Burks. I'm sure you agree this has been an amazing evening, right? And thank you for spending this Thursday night with us by being here and cheering everyone on. It shows your support for our educators, so thank you so much. Before we conclude, just a couple of things I Folks, I want to thank, it takes a lot of people to put this together behind the scenes. So I just want to make sure that I give them acknowledgement. I want to thank Josie Amador and Michelle Dominguez. Fantastic job. They did the reception, the decorations, um, our building services team. Um, worked really, really hard. Um, our media production team, um, our announcer, Cesar Vargas, um, the list goes on and on. So give all of those and our volunteers a hand. So that concludes our program and enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>